Hey guys, it's the IT guy here again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start in save mode. So it used to be very easy when you were in Windows 7, I believe. Yeah, uh, all the way from you know, well, all the way up to Windows 7. Used to be that you just had to repeatedly press the F8 key. Um, but that's no longer the case in Windows 10. So what you will need to do, and there are actually multiple uh, ways to do it, but let me just show you the way that I find. Uh, easiest or the most, um, how should I say this, uh, the the way that it mostly works because I've, you can also, you just, uh, the, the way it normally works is you um, press the shift key, you, you keep the shift key pressed in and then you uh, choose to uh, restart over here. And by the way, I'm recording this on my camera because of course when I'm rebooting my computer, um, this will no longer, when I'm re recording my computer, uh, then the um, recording would stop, you know, when I would record with OBS, so uh, I'm sorry for the quality of the video here. Uh, but, so, I just press the shift key, so I uh, continuously press the shift key, I keep the shift key pressed in, and then I reset the computer, and you keep the shift key pressed in until this uh, screen here appears. And then you can go over to troubleshoot, startup settings, and restart the computer. And then you will be uh, transferred into uh, th this recovery screen where you can choose uh, recovery options and, and stuff like that. So let me just uh, hold on here for a second when while the computer boots up. Okay, so re right now you can choose. You can choose to enable debugging. You can choose to enable boot logging, uh, low resolution, safe mode, safe mode with networking, and safe mode with command prompt, and uh, all the other stuff over here. So let me go over to uh, just use safe mode. Let's just press option four. There we go. That's me. All right, so uh, you will have to enter your password over here if you have something like a PIN code. There we go. So right now we are in save mode, and we can see that by, uh, you know, right on the side here, you can see that there's save mode. So right now we are in safe mode. So I don't need to be in safe mode. This is just for uh, the purpose of showing you how this works. So let me quickly reboot the computer right now and show you the second way you can boot into safe mode, um, which in my opinion is actually the, uh, you know, the, the way that it always works. I've had times when pressing shift key doesn't work. So whenever the shift key uh, thing doesn't work, I like to use uh, this one over here. Let me. So you just go over to the start menu, you go over to the settings menu, and then you go over to update and security. And then you go over to recovery, and then you can choose advanced startup over here, and then you can restart now. And that will actually basically do the same. So you, you just won't have to uh, and, uh, press the shift key. You'll be uh, directed into the same menu. So you can go over and troubleshoot the PC. And then you can change the startup settings, restart it. And then you'll just press whatever you want. So let me choose the safe mode again with networking. And there we are again. Whoops. There we are. So right now we are in safe mode, uh, as you can see over here, and the networking works. So uh, whatever you choose works. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. It's pretty easy, right? So uh, if you like the video, give it a like and comment below if you want to comment. And if you want to see more of my videos, uh, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys.